Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be starting a new sort of series. Uh, it's just uh, not really a series, but I'm going to explain in what event it is and uh, basically how to use it. So, in this first tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you guys how you can add a simple little, um, a simple uh, calendar event. Yeah, event. So, uh, what I'm going to do is create a project and I'm just going to be showing you guys how to add a simple event in the calendar. So, if you go to the calendar app there, um, we're just going to be adding an event in here, but from a separate app. So, uh, let me call this event kit demo. Uh, I'll save this in there. Alright, let's save that there. And, alright, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to set up our storyboard and for that it's pretty simple so for this example I'm going to say you already uh, got the data which you want to input to the calendar but if you don't uh, you know it's pretty simple your app should already have that but just a few text boxes so start date the end date and also the names if this is just a simple event this isn't a complicated event I'll make another tutorial about uh, complicated events in the future but what I'm going to do is embed in a navigation controller and here I'm going to add a bar button and just add that in there and get rid of the text and put a plus image there there alright now let's create an outlet and I'll just call this uh, add button okay the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the info.plist and you want to add a new key called uh, you want to call it Okay, privacy. Uh, well, I can't see anything. Okay, so privacy. Uh, okay, privacy calendars usage description. Basically, this allows the app to uh, use the calendar. And for the description, you should just call this something like this is to allow the app to modify the calendar all right so now uh, let's just run the app and see what we've got so it should ask us for the uh, permission which we'll just click allow um, oh actually I have already tested this so it didn't actually ask me for the permission but if you haven't tested this already then it will ask you for the permission so this key is really important and make sure you have this now the next thing you want to do is you can start coding so there's two things you need to import you need to import event kit and event kit UI and yeah so then what we need to do is import the delegates so uh, ek event view delegate and you don't actually set it in the view controller you're going to create a separate event controller a uh, view controller and then you're going to set that delegate but we need to create an event store which is sort of just um, it's sort of like authorization if you know what I mean like if you've worked with in-app purchases you know it has a similar sort of thing so this is just an EK event store and then uh, you also need to confirm to the de delegate which is protocol subs basically uh, if I, I'll show you what this does later but it's kind of just uh, the completion handler so we'll leave that here and I'll just call this completion. All right. Now in the add button, this is where the main things happen. So you want to use the event store to request access. Uh, so you do request access to dot event and then here bool you have to do week self and then success. That's just true. Uh, oh success error. And then now you can check if the error uh, is nil, which it should be. And let's just run that. Uh, oh, why didn't this work? This sh should have worked unless uh, that. Hmm. Wait, let me try and do this again because this should work event store dot request access to dot event inside there okay there we go uh, 
and then inside of here it's weak self success success error um, and here you should check I'm not sure Hmm, let me just check I've completely done this right. Uh, error in, and then weak cell. Uh, yeah, oh, maybe this shouldn't be here. Uh, let me try, let me just start from anyway. So, if success error is equal to nil, now we can now that means there's not an error. We can do this in dispatch dot main uh, dispatch q dot async uh, dot main dot async. Why is this still not working? Oh, oh let me get rid of that. Okay, there we go, that works. Okay, so now dispatch q dot main dot async. Now we can actually create the store which is sort of like the event store but it's just checked to make sure it's not going to force an error so store is equal to self dot event store and then if it's an error you just return okay now I can create the new event uh, what's this edit okay uh, and then we can create the new event so let new event is equal to ek event and then event store that's just the store we created here so you can customize it and uh, the three main ones we're going to be using are uh, new event and dot title so that's sort of title and it's just the name and I'm just going to call it demo event then we can also set the start date so a new event dot start date is equal to date and we also have to set the end date since we start start date date and I'm just going to set it the same even though you can just uh, you should have another date for this and there's also a few more but I'm not really going to get into that sort of stuff right now since once again this is just a um, it's just a, a demo no not a demo uh, it's just a simple uh, event but yeah you can see there's a lot more and if you really want to customize the event you can so these are the three main ones next you need to create the event controller so let event controller is equal to ek event controller uh, oh, oh yeah event view controller and then set this delegate to self so that's why we didn't set it up here in the view did load we set it here and then event controller event controller dot event is equal to new event which we created up here so now uh, let's just present this and there's actually one more step but so what you actually want to do is create a navigation controller here but I'll show you what it's like without the navigation controller so let's just uh, set that there and then uh, let's run this so I'll show you what happens when there's no navigation controller I'll click a new event and okay there it is so now let's allow this and yeah okay so you can see this works but there's no dumb button up here since usually there's a dumb button in a navigation bar but there isn't a navigation bar since you didn't create one so what you want to do you want to go here and do let navigation controller equal to navigation controller and then a root view controller is just the event controller and then instead of presenting the event controller here you present the navigation controller so now if we run this again if we click plus you can see that we actually add it so yeah you, there's actually a few things you can change here like that and like that but most of the stuff is done here then there's another thing called event edit controller but I won't get into that for now uh, that can be in a future tutorial but yeah this done button is actually what this controls so all you actually want to do since we've just added the event it doesn't get added when you click the done button oh it, it does but uh, what we also want to dismiss this controller so all you do is you go here and you do controller which is here dot dismiss animated true completion nil so let's run this again 
and click add and you can see there's already that event which we just created in the previous run we've clicked done again it's gone and added another one now if I go to the calendar app and we go here there's two events so let me delete both of these just to show you guys that this really does work so I'll delete this and now I'll go back to our app uh, where is it uh, actually no let me just run it so run the app I'll create a new event click done and now let's go to the calendar app and yeah there it is so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye